Hello and welcome to this video on why you should have a savings account and what a savings account is good for. Many people underestimate the importance of having a savings account, but it can be a valuable tool in managing your finances and achieving your financial goals. In this video, we will discuss the benefits of having a savings account, how to choose the right one for you, and some tips for maximizing its potential. Section 1. What is a savings account? Let's start with the basics. A savings account is a type of bank account that allows you to deposit and withdraw money while earning interest on your balance. Unlike checking accounts, which are designed for frequent transactions and often have no interest, savings accounts are meant to help you save money over time. The interest rate on savings accounts can vary, but it is generally higher than the interest rate on checking accounts. Section 2. Why you should have a savings account. Now that we know what a savings account is, let's talk about why you should have one. There are several benefits to having a savings account, including 1. Building an emergency fund One of the most important reasons to have a savings account is to build an emergency fund. Life is unpredictable, and unexpected expenses can arise at any time. Having an emergency fund in place can help you cover these expenses without having to rely on credit cards or other forms of debt. 2. Saving for short-term goals Savings accounts are also useful for saving for short-term goals, such as a vacation, a down payment on a house, or a new car. By setting aside money in a savings account, you can ensure that you have the funds you need when you need them. 3. Earning interest on your money. Another benefit of having a savings account is that you can earn interest on your balance. While the interest rate may not be very high, every little bit helps. Over time, the interest you earn can add up and help you reach your financial goals more quickly. Four. Separating your money. Having a separate savings account can also help you keep your finances organized. By keeping your savings separate from your checking account, you can avoid accidentally spending money that you meant to save. Section 3. How to choose the right savings account. Now that we've covered why you should have a savings account, let's talk about how to choose the right one for you. There are many different types of savings accounts available, so it's important to do your research before opening one. Here are some factors to consider. 1. Interest rate. The interest rate is one of the most important factors to consider when choosing a savings account. Look for an account with a high interest rate, as this will allow you to earn more on your savings. 2. Fees. Some savings accounts charge fees for things like monthly maintenance, ATM withdrawals, or account transfers. Look for an account with minimal fees to avoid eating into your savings. 3. Minimum balance requirements. Some savings accounts require a minimum balance to open or maintain the account. Make sure you can meet the minimum balance requirement before opening an account to avoid additional fees. 4. FDIC Insurance Make sure the bank that offers the savings account is FDIC insured, which means your money is protected up to $250,000 in case the bank fails. Section 4. Tips for maximizing your savings account Now that you have a savings account, how can you make the most of it? Here are some tips for maximizing the potential of your savings account. 1. Automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account each month. This will help you save money consistently without having to think about it. 2. Keep track of your progress. Check your savings account balance regularly to see how much you've saved and how close you are to reaching your goals. This will help you stay motivated and make adjustments as needed. 3. Use a budget. Creating a budget can help you prioritize your spending and ensure that you're able to save money each month. By tracking your income and expenses, you can identify areas where you can cut back and allocate more funds to your savings account. 4. Consider a high-yield savings account. If you're looking to earn more interest on your savings, consider opening a high-yield savings account. These accounts typically offer higher interest rates than traditional savings accounts, but may require a higher minimum balance or limit the number of withdrawals you can make each month. 5. Use your savings wisely. Finally, make sure you're using your savings account for its intended purpose. While it can be tempting to dip into your savings for non-essential purchases, remember that the money you've saved is meant to help you achieve your financial goals. Conclusion In conclusion, having a savings account can be a valuable tool in managing your finances and achieving your financial goals. By building an emergency fund, saving for short-term goals, earning interest on your money, and separating your money, you can improve your financial well-being and prepare for the unexpected. Remember to choose the right savings account for your needs, and use these tips to make the most of your savings. Thanks for watching, and happy saving!